Welcome to our support vector regression course. This is our machine learning project about home appliances, energy consumption. Today, we are going to train two models on the data that we have. First of all, we're going to train the linear regression. And then the second one, we are going to train our support vector regression. Before we continue, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button, give this video a thumbs up, and don't forget to share this with your friends. So let's get right into our job. So today we're going to start with our very exciting part of our data science project. It's because we're going now to train and test our two models. So remember that in our first course, we talked about linear regression. And then in our second algorithm, which is this algorithm that we have in this series, support vector regression. So we are going to train both of them and we are going to test both of them and that we're going to, of course, choose which one performs better. So we will first have the transformation of our categorical variables into dummy ones. So let me write here first, transform. So maybe you would want to ask me what is it that we would like to transform and what are these categorical variables? So uh, remember that in the earlier part of this project, we actually benchmarked low consumption and high consumption. Let me find that one first so you could properly see. So in this part, we have set our qualitative predictors and that once again, we have set the benchmarks for the high consumption and the low consumption with respect to an hour time interval and 30 minute time interval. So this is the two categorical variables that we're going to transform into dummy ones because these are really very important so that we can proceed to our linear regression and support vector regression that is to transform them from being qualitative to being quantitative. So let's have this. So we will use this one for the transformation and I believe from this point you exactly know and you know what a dummy variable is because this is really very important not just in linear regression support vector regression and even in random forest but later on when we have our classification algorithm especially logistic regression we will still be using dummy variables so let's execute this. So we will have both for the hour time interval and the 30 minute time interval. And then this time, what we will do is that we're going now to set our two models to be trained. So let me write here first. So setting the models to be trained. So we will first have, oops. We will first have our linear model. So let's have so we use this to set up our linear model and our model number one is linear model and if you could still remember in the, the earlier part of this machine learning project we actually identified the variables or features which have higher correlations and also we have identified the linear independence of this correlation or these variables and so we have used those processes to identify what features to be used for our model number one or linear model. And of course, as you could see here, we have used our additive assumption, if you could still remember. So we have our and lights and we have T6 and RH6. So for the reasons that we have already stated. So this is our first model. Our second model is is vr model so we are going to name this one our model number two so these are the different features that we are going to use to set our model number two which is svr so maybe you would want to ask me how did we choose these different features for our model number two okay well the answer is that we use a different technique which is feature importance or feature selection using the random forest method and as of the moment we just consider that we are done with our random forest so in our future project we will be using our 
random forest algorithm and there we will be able to understand more about feature selection and feature importance so this is good to go and then we are going to execute this one and also one thing that we have to keep in mind is that between the 30 minute and the one hour what we're going to use is the one hour time interval because the reason is that the one hour time interval has better performance in comparison to the 30 minute time interval so before you would come up to this kind of model for model one and model number two it's always very important to make a test on which one performs better is it one hour time interval or 30 minute time interval but here in our project we are considering the fact that we are done testing these two time intervals but in the real machine learning project it would really be longer because you really have to process a lot of things before you would come up to this final project the next thing that we are going to do is we first have to avoid warnings from our standard scaler so let me write here first to avoid to avoid warnings from a standard scaler because this is really very important so we could proceed to later on the standardization and finally with the training of our two models so we will be avoiding warnings from the results of these features that we have chosen so we're going to have so for all of them we use the float and then this is ready for execution let's run this one okay so that is now very effective and we can now proceed to our next step which is the creation of our test set and our train set so create for each model and again we have two models here we have linear regression model and we have support vector regression model so we have test size and the point to here 20 percent is actually the standard size of our test set and of course for our train set we do have a standard size which is 80 percent after setting our test size in our test index or train size now we're going to go to making our linear model train and test sizes so we're going to have so this is for our linear model and of course we are going to make also for our svr model so now we are good to go and what we will do is that we will just execute it so let's execute it so we have a mistake in here it's not defined let's go back to this one first and i think we've made this one some big letter so we'll just make this one small and also this one small let's execute it okay and let's start over again all right after creating our test data and our train data now what we will do is that we're going to normalize our matrix x so let's name this one normalize matrix x and maybe you would want to ask me why is it that we need to normalize our matrix x the reason for this normalization method is that in or regression theory is always built on normality assumption and it's because it's based on normality assumption it's always recommended to normalize the data before we train our model and maybe you would want to ask what would be the result if in case we don't normalize our matrix or our data if the data is not normalized then there would be some kind of a negative or adverse effect on the estimates of our regression that's why in this part of our project we are always advised to normalize our data so i don't have to discuss here what normalization is and the mathematical processes and techniques on how to do that we have that in our lesson in machine learning essentials and deep learning mathematics can you visit those two courses so to normalize our data we will have this one so here we have imported standard scalar from sklearn and of course we're doing this for both models 
so this is good to go and we're going to execute this so this time after normalizing our data the thing that we're going to do is that we are now going to train our model with default hyperparameters we will start first with of course our linear model and we will have this so let's execute this one for our linear model and for our SBR model we're going to have this okay so we have imported SVM from our sklearn and we are good to go let's execute this one all right so our model is now executed so for this part of our project we have trained our two models we first have transformed our categorical variables into dummy ones that's for low consumption and high consumption and then we have set our models to be trained and to do that we first avoided our warnings for standard scalar and then we have set our test size and our train size and then we normalize our data or our matrix x and that we train our model with default hyperparameters for both the linear model and support the vector regression model do you want to know more about this channel just click these cards we do have a lot of free data science lessons for all of you we do have data science machine learning algorithm essentials deep learning mathematics the different data science tips and a lot more here you can always learn an upskill for free